Hi guys, this is Fenchy and today we're gonna do the second beginner tips that I have for you. When I was starting in color grading and I heard primaries, I thought it was something really mystic. So I remember the guys were always talking in code language, like add more LGG, move your tint, push your temp. For me, as I had no notion of photography, I was thinking that you were taking your thermometer and putting it in boiling water. <laughs> So I was really lost and it took me some time to understand everything. That's why I'm here to help you. Primaries is a fundament to understand as colorists. This is actually the tool that will make the most heavy lifting out of your image. So what are primaries really? Primaries are global adjustments. So it affects the whole image by controlling the color density curves of red channel, green channel and blue channel. I will show you in the example, but like we can define primaries in DaVinci Resolve by the color wheels, the temperature, the tint, the overall saturation, the overall color boost, the overall contrast, and every tools that are actually global. So then let's jump in in the example. So here we are with our uh, CST that we've built together uh, at the last beginner tip. I just want to show you guys because I forgot to show you uh, during the last video. I want you to put your uh, output color space to Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. So you will have the same results as me. I just want to do this just in case, you know, like we, we have like some... Uh, uh, color shifts between uh, between other people that uh, follow the beginner tips. So just uh, put your timeline color space to Rec 709 scene and put your output color space to Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. Thank you. Before uh, we jump into the primaries, I just want to show you uh, the tools for the primaries. Primaries most of the time is uh, your color wheels like what you have here, it's it actually written. We're gonna start with the color wheels. So color wheels are actually the wheels that will affect your curves. Offset is a wheel that like will just move your curve from uh, down, so darker part, to up, brighter, brighter part. So for example, I show you, so uh, if you wanna try with me, you just create a node before the CST, so shift S. Also why we are creating a node before the CST for primaries is just because we want the primaries to be uh, fed by uh, the source and not by another node uh, in front of it. I'm just gonna take my offset to show you the example. Look at the waveform here. And uh, I'm gonna go down with my offset. So all my, all my curves are going down and all my curves are going up when I'm raising, okay? This is offset. Lift is actually the darkest part of the curves that stretch to either bright or darkest area. If I take my lift and I go down, all the darkest part of the graph are going down, okay? If I go up, all the darkest part of the graph are going up. Same for gamma, gamma are the midpoints. So if I go up with gamma, all the midpoints are going up. If I go down with gamma, all the midpoints are going down. And then gain is the brightest part of the graph. So all the, the brightest part of the graph, if I go down, are going down. If I go up, all the brightest parts are going up. What we're gonna do is like uh, to create some contrast in our image, we're gonna stretch the curves uh, to uh, have like the style that we wanna go with. So I'm just gonna take my lift and go down because I wanna create a bit more uh, shadows, contrast. And uh, I'm gonna take my gain because it's pretty high up and go down with it, yeah. So then we have no risk of clipping. This will be called uh, not label, LGG. After this, what I want to do is introduce some uh, saturation. So option S, I create a node after LGG 
and I'm going to uh, call that set. Okay, so the saturation, I will go very gentle with it. <laughs> very, very gentle. I will push a bit and find the sweet spot. So uh, I would be like, I think the 65 is nice. And also I will introduce a bit of color boost to it. So color boost is saturating the less saturated, the less saturated part of your image. So you take your color boost and you put it, I think around like five, five is nice. Okay, let's do that. So now that we have uh, our saturation, what I want to do is uh, because even though there's like some colors, I, I find it a bit flat and I can introduce some co color density and uh, some depth in, it, in my primaries. So I will create a contrast node. So uh, I'm gonna uh, do option S and uh, label this contrast. So contrast, I'm just gonna go to the global contrast here and just raise it a bit. Well, just a bit, really. So uh, if you see, it's quite subtle. So this is before, this is after. This is before, this is after. In color grading, less is more, really. <laughs> so uh, very subtle, I, I don't want to uh, over overdo it. And after, I'm going to create uh, another node to start to introduce a bit of look to my uh, footage uh, by using temp and tint. So I'm going to create a label that's called uh, temp and tint. And I'm just going to uh, affect these tools, temp and tint. So what I want is like, um, as it, it was a very, uh, you know, it was a golden hour shot. What I want to do is reintroducing a bit of warmth to have like this golden hour coming back up. So what I'm going to do is like pushing my temp. So temp is only uh, affecting uh, warmth and cold. So I'm just pushing my temp to something that I like. And as I'm pushing my temp and I see that like my uh, skin is turning a bit more greenish. Uh, what I want to do is compensate by uh, turning my tint to uh, a more magenta side. So tint is actually controlling green and magenta. So I will show you, I will go like to magenta and I'm just looking at the skin. What I want is having the skin in the right realm because if we have the skin uh, proper for the primaries, after in secondaries, it will be so easy actually to uh, uh, do the tweaks around. So I want my skin tone to be realistic and beautiful. <laughs> so I will go like, yeah, to something like 20 in tint, uh, because in tint, because like if you see the, the skin like looks uh, a bit better compare that if I don't put some tint, it's very greenish. So show you here. And uh, actually this is uh, all for my primaries. I will stop here for my primaries. So primaries is quite a broad subject in uh, color grading. Uh, what I've showed you is actually the tools that I always use for primaries and it's my favorite tools. Uh, very simple, but actually you can do a lot of things with it. There's also some people that uh, actually are doing their primaries by just uh, affecting uh, the red channel, the blue channel, the green channel. If you want me to show you this technique, I can also show you. I can make a video about this. So I, I mean, let me know if you are interested in the comments. So a final word on the primaries and also on the overall uh, beginner tips. I'm really glad actually to do these videos because when I was uh, a very young colorist, <laughs> When I just started, I was super lost because I, I'm self-taught and I had no mentor that like showed me how to do uh, everything and the proper workflows and the proper tools. 
So I hope everything uh, that I'm explaining is uh, understandable. So uh, really tell me if I'm going too slow or I'm going too fast or uh, if you uh, need some precisions on uh, some stuff. I would be glad to, uh, to do it and uh, hear your feedbacks. And I want to remind you something, if I could do it because I had no base in photography, no base in film, if I could do it, you can do it. So um, I see you next week for another beginner tips or for actually another uh, uh, off series video. We see, we see how. And uh, yeah, I hope that everything was clear and that you're gonna practice a lot. See you.